In this video, we will look at Instana website and user monitoring. As always, for the most updated and accurate information, please refer to the documentation. To start implementing end user monitoring, we will go to Websites and add a website. Give the website a name and copy the script. We have a very simple example of a web page. Let's paste the script to the header of the page. Save the page and exercise it a couple of times. We can now see website monitoring information in Instana, as well as information in the different tabs and page views. For every page view, we can see the elements that were loaded on the browser side. You can send additional end user information and metadata to Instana. Let's look at the documentation. In the website monitoring API, we can see all the information that is needed to send additional information to Instana. We'll copy paste additional user information to our web page. In this example, we're adding user information, page information, and metadata. Refresh the page a couple of times and see the new web page information with the user and the metadata. Last thing we want to add is the correlation to the backend. Depending on your programming language, the code to add will change. In this case, we'll just choose a regular JSP page, add the line to the script, exercise the page a couple of times, and look at the page again. We can click on View Back and Trace and go from the front end to the back end trace. Note that, as always with Instana, we have the context of the infrastructure for every service call, which we can click on and continue drilling down to the infrastructure if we would like to do so. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you very much for your time.